Okay, so welcome back to my channel and today I'm filming a skincare routine. Um, I do not do this every single day, but I try to do it at least two, three times a week. Sometimes your girl will drink a little too much and she'll literally not do her skincare, um, but I try to do it. So I'm using Kirkland, um, is that how you say it? They're makeup wipes to just cleanse my face, make sure that there's no extra residue, no um, like makeup, dry skin, anything, just to have a clean base. Um, also, if you guys peep my new nails, I love them. Um, send me some nail inspos because I'm always looking for some more. Um, okay, so when you're doing this, try to make sure you're not tugging on your skin so rough because you will get wrinkles and I just didn't care. Um, also, if you guys haven't noticed, I wasn't wearing any makeup. Um, I got tear through filler, cheek filler, I always want more filler, and I got Botox. Um, so yeah, now that I have a clean base, we can go to the next step. Okay, so here I am for probably like a minute and a half trying to scavenge for a hair clip um, and then if you guys keep watching, I'm literally, okay, so I got my hairs taped in today, styled by Sam, um, go, go see him, he's probably the best in Ottawa. Um, anyways, I was trying to figure out how to like do my hair while not damaging it or like you know the tapes are still a bit tight right now so i'm still just like trying to let them chill on my head without being too rough on it so that was a fail um now i'm going for a ponytail scrunchie gonna put my hair back and you know i think i'm successful but if you guys keep watching you'll see that i just transitioned to a headband anyways because the um clip was a fail so i don't know why i'm thumb thumbsing up because yeah so here i'm grabbing a clarisonic mia 2 um, I replace the brush head about every like two to three months, well at least try, um, and yeah. Okay, so here I literally do not care for cleanser. Um, I'll use anything as a cleanser as long as it's like um, hydrating or um, exfoliating. So that was a Neutrogena one I just picked up. Now I'm going ahead and I'm going to put it on my, okay, and I just let water spill everywhere. Um, so I'm putting the Boost, I think that's what it's called on the Clarisonic and then I like to wet it a bit just like how I like to wet my toothbrush some of y'all don't like it I do um, and I'm breaking out so that explains like I break out on my neck a lot and on my like t-zone area so um, I don't like to do the two like the minute per side or whatever till it beeps to switch I personally like to just go in and I'll like you use this like two three times in a row because my skin can handle a lot um, it's not really sensitive so here I am just um kind of washing my face exfoliating it i do have lash extensions but like i'm due for a fill soon so they're falling so i'm kind of not as cautious as i am with them like in the first one to two weeks with them because my ass is staying inside doing exams so um there i am just showing you guys what i'm doing um and yeah so <laughs> that's pretty much what i do i'll do this like i said two to three times um, of rounds, but I'll like replace the soap on it and then continue to do that. Okay, so here I am grabbing a towel um, and I'm just gonna pat my face um, just to make it dry and just make sure everything is nice and ready for the next step. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of just how I do it. Um, and I don't know why I did this, but it's just like to make sure it's extra dry and what a lovely face Sarah like you're so cute okay so it's totally scratched the part where I used hair clips um, and we're gonna pretend like I filmed from the get-go in a headband um, I took my hair out the pony because I really wanted to just let my curls be um, free and not lose their form so here I am um, if you're wondering why I have okay Sarah now I'm gonna start dancing if you're wondering why I have one earring um, and not one and the others because I've double pierced in one ear and then a single on the other but I used to have actually like like six per side like I had my whole ears pierced but I let that shit close okay so here I found what I was looking for um and of course I have to show you guys my skin again and how it's very um cleansed now I don't know why I felt the need to show you this multiple times but I did so I grabbed a razor um this one I've already used before but you're supposed to throw them out um I literally did this a couple days ago I'm just going over and showing you guys what I do. Um, so pretty much, you can get these at Marshalls. It's kind of like a form of derma planning, um, but at home and for a fraction of the cost. I think a pack of these were like 
$10 or less, maybe $8.99. Um, you have to go really like um, gentle because it is a sharp blade. Um, I'm not going sharp because like like I said, I did this a couple of days ago. The blade is dull, but I'm just showing you um, and yeah. So this is just going to make your skin um, get rid of all that dry hair. I don't know if you saw that fuzz fly away from my face, but that was like dry skin, um, hair particles, stuff like that. Okay, so here I am just going over my skin. Um, I'm really breaking out, guys. Like, it's just a hormonal thing, but um, usually when you actually do it, if you grab the, um, like, a napkin or a makeup wipe, you'll be able to see all the residue. Here I am, thumbings down, because I had no residue, because I just did this, like I said. Um, so, yeah. Okay, donk. So here I'm using a extractor. Um, this is just to clean up, like, zits and, okay blackheads do not come for me because i am just aesthetically showing you how to do it i'm not actually doing it i'm playing around um just showing you um how you'd actually do it is just press on the zit or the blackhead you'd like to extract and it's going to come out that little hole or the bigger hole that you use there's two ends to it one that has a smaller tip one that has a larger tip um and you would do it in that sense of notion that i'm actually doing now not like the niaiserie i was doing before um and that's what i get you get it from marshall's or any like store that would have it um in that type of sense now i'm using my cellar water to clean my lashes my lashes are a mess because i have a horrible blow dryer that literally smells like burnt fire i think it overheats even though i use cold air so i'm gonna grab a makeup brush and i'm gonna just pour some of the micellar water onto the brush to cleanse my lashes thoroughly um obviously your girl needs to go to walmart and get some more you can literally get it at walmart um, and it's oil free so it literally does nothing to them. Do not mind my lashes but that's pretty much what I do. So like I mentioned I do need a lash fill but I'm just going to show you the masks I have. I had like a Korean mask. I had some Garnier mask my girl got me when I was sick. So I chose to do a Garnier mask, a moisture one because my skin has been feeling a bit rough because it's been winter. So obviously it was dry and I needed to hydrate it. Um, so that's a sheet mask. I'm learning as I go with this. Like... The first time I've seen it is on camera now. Um, it came with a blue wrapper and now I am trying to figure out how to unwrap it. Look at my double chin. She's so cute. I've been bulking. Um, I'll be bulking for a couple more weeks and then um, I'll be trying to do a summer cut even though my calories are a little bit low now. So here I am trying to get this to um, pull apart. There we go. We got it. So... Um, this sheet mask. It says to leave it on your face for 15 minutes. Um, and here I am. Like, I look so confused. Like, why are my eyes so big? Yes, very cute, Sarah. Very cute. Um, yeah, so that's going to be put on. And then I will give you the final verdict. Can someone please tell me why my eyes are like huge right now um so i'm just setting that in um and it's on i'm rubbing the serum in making sure it's good okay and now for some reason i started dancing because i was happy um and now i'm reading the instructions because apparently i didn't read them before and it's saying to leave them on for 15 minutes here i am indicating 15 because you know i'm a preschooler um and yeah I don't know what I'm dancing to, there was no music playing, but okay, um, I'm doing karaoke now, um, doing like some moonwalk type of thing, and um, I'm not going to let this play for 15 minutes, okay? <laughs> um, oh, here by the way, I just wanted to show you one of the other masks I would do it would be the Indian Healing Clay Mask. Um, you can get this on Amazon, and I like to mix it with... Um, apple cider vinegar or just water leave it on for like 10 minutes and your skin will be so tight and your pores will be so replenished um and then another moisturizer during the day i would use is this nivea essential cream um because it's very good i've used the ponds one that everyone loves and i hate it it makes my skin look like a grease pan cannot do that i have very oily skin so i have to be very careful with what i use okay so be back in 15.
Okay, so 15 minutes passed and then I'm taking it off. Um, I felt so nice because I hate things on my face. Um, I feel very confined, so now I'm very happy. Threw it in the trash. Um, and you're just gonna look at your skin. You're gonna grab your hands after they're washed. Um, here I'm telling you, wash your hands because coronavirus first to you bacteria equals pimples. Um, so I'm blending in the serum because you don't want to wash that off because it's pretty much what you're paying for. Um, so there I am blending that into my skin and now I'm gonna just rinse my hands again um, make sure everything's set up properly for the next step and yeah so I'm grabbing a lash brush before we start because my lashes needed to be brushed the oil got into them but like I said I was on my third week almost on them so um, my efforts to care were really not there. <laughs> I'm just like someone who is so chill and like I'll look good for like one day and then I'll be like okay see you in six months. Um, so I am rubbing that in making sure it's like all settled into my skin it's been absorbed and now I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe that out of my hair. Um, don't want to seem hypocritical um, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a vitamin C serum. Um, you can get this at Marshalls. I'm sure Sephora has some more high-end brands, but um, we're bougie on a budget today, okay? So, I'm rubbing that into my skin. Um, actually, fact, you're supposed to rub upwards and not downwards because gravity. I don't know why, but um, if you apparently rub upwards, you will lift your face if you rub downwards you will obviously bring your face down um i forgot and so i only did it halfway sometimes it's very hard to remember these things um but you just have to try your best so i'm rinsing my hands getting it off my lips and i'm going to let that dry on my face but here i am just showing it one more time the clean beauty vitamin c i really like it. it's very moisturizing and i do not even find it oily um so i'm gonna let that dry for five minutes that's what i was showing you guys um, and yeah, be, while we wait and let that dry, I'm going to do a CeraVe eye cream, um, just to make sure that, you know, the eyes are staying good. So the first place a woman will actually get her wrinkles are her neck and her hands. So I'm always moisturizing my hands, but I do not want to miss out on my eyes. Okay, so here I am getting ready for the start of the show, um, the La Mer cream. I'm just putting my hair down. So, there's a special way that the ladies at Sephora told me to apply it. Um, this is my second jar, so I'm just rinsing my hands um, like you should after every step. Um, and you want to grab the jar, so here I am, first of all, trying to find a thumbnail. Um, I'm probably not even going to use any of these, but for some reason I thought that it was important to include this. And I'm going to just go ahead and stick my finger um, in the jar. So apparently you're supposed to take your hands, rub it in with the heat of your warm, your heat of your arms, your fingers, oh my goodness, and then you're supposed to rub it into your skin. Like I said, upwards, I don't know why I was going downwards, but yes, so upwards and then on your neck um, and you really want to just apply it. Um, so apparently the, the, the theory of this cream is that scientists would play music to the algae in the science room and then that this cream was magical and had saved um lots of um soldiers that had like war wounds back in the day when they weren't able to fix it um do i think that this cream is worth the budget i think it's definitely um a luxury product um which it's like a great product. It's very moisturizing. I think that if I were to use it continuously, I'd be able to see a difference, but for sure there would be dupes. Um, so stay tuned, like, and subscribe, um, and stay tuned for more videos. All right, peace.